Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Although the last year was filled with unprecedented floods, firestorms, heat waves, and other dramatic effects of global warming, resistance and denial remains high. Of course, that is less the case in the South Pacific, where the threat has been existential. This viral photo was posted to social media by Tuvalu's Ministry of Justice, Communication, and Foreign Affairs. In the picture, we see the minister of that agency, Simon Kofé, giving a video statement to the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow while standing in the ocean. The island nation is at high risk to disappear if countries around the world fail to keep global warming from increasing more than 1.5 degrees centigrade. This image documents an explicitly political stunt, but a highly effective one because it went viral and because it so perfectly worked on the logic of what I would call perspective by incongruity. That is putting the lawmaker giving a speech in a context of speech making, right? We have the lectern, we have the flag, he's in the suit and tie, he's even got the lapel pin, he's standing in front of the microphone, the flags are behind him. But There's this really big difference, right, which is that they're all standing in water. So this logic of perspective by incongruity, that giving viewers perspective by showing them something that just doesn't add up, that just doesn't make sense, is a really brilliant subversion of the traditional politician's platform. This was probably the most powerful imagery to come out of the summit. There was lots of protest images and the familiar street theater, shots of young activists such as Greta Thunberg and Vanessa Nakate, and then a kind of an unfair photo of Joe Biden sitting alone during a public session at the conference. But this was really wonderful. And I think it's partly because of the rare ingredient here, especially in contrast to so many pictures that we're seeing of environmental havoc. This photograph is really funny. Yeah, and the humor, right, is really amplified by the guy in the water doing the hand gesture, right? And they're smiling like they're posing for a tourist selfie. This is a kind of ad hoc, maybe outtake, we might say, from the staging of the original event of the speech itself. If you watch the video of the speech, it's about four minutes long. And until the last 30 seconds, you cannot tell that Simon Kofi is standing in the water. It is a straight up political speech where he talks about the dangers that Tuvalu and other parts of the region are facing. It's very, very straightforward. And then he says, but we cannot wait for speeches. And at that point, the camera zooms out and the last 30 seconds of the speech, you see him standing in the water. And eventually the camera pulls so far out that they're using a drone shot to show that he is literally alone and drowning. You know, what it's also doing is playing off of Greta's narrative. This conference and the situation is about too much blah, blah, blah. So when you compare the speech with the dramatic finish with this outtake, you really get the sense of that humor that you talked about, that they clearly thought, okay, what are ways that we could really communicate to people in a short amount of time what is happening to us? 